Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Jada. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SMD Wire. The Calvary County Technology Academy's culinary program set up a food truck and served 70 meals to help students get an idea of what the food truck service industry is all about. Calvert County also recently announced that food trucks will be available each week on Tuesdays and Fridays near the county courthouse in Prince Frederick. 20 students helped prepare 70 meals of chicken and steak soft tacos, roasted corn, and fried tortilla chips. The Calvert Technology Academy recently received a $2,000 Calvert Foundation grant to get its program up and running, and the event involved many faces of the academy. The carpentry program fabricated the wooden frame, the automotive program installed lights and the graphic design program did the graphics for COG Cafe, named for the gear incorporated in the CTA logo. In a conference early Monday afternoon, Governor Larry Hogan announced a new congressional district map. This new map was signed into law by the General Assembly. Furthermore, a majority of the state lawmakers approved late last week. This was the first successful withdrawal of Maryland's districts since the previous attempts were thrown out by previous appeals, court judge. The restricting is all part of Hogan's fight against gerrymandering, a practice which the governor calls, quote, a cancer on our democracy. On March 29th, the county commissioners cut the ribbon to celebrate the formal opening of Calvert Broadcast. Calvert Broadcast provides government news and information, live streaming events, production services, and studio rental. The Calvert County government took over Channel 6 from Comcast and spent $125,000 to upgrade the old joint operations facility into a television studio. Charles County commissioners and members of the Farrar family gathered on Tuesday to mark the former site of the Blue Jay Motel during a historic marker tour. The tour was dedicated to remembering locations of great importance to African Americans in the county. The Blue Jay Motel was listed in the Green Book from 1956 to 1964 and hosted entertainers such as Patti LaBelle, Sam Coke, Aletha Gibson, and Baltimore Colts offensive lineman Jim Parker during their travels. Now turning to sports. Northern girls lacrosse beats Patuxent in a lopsided game 22-5 on Monday evening. Northern and Patuxent are accustomed to having an intense rivalry, although four of the seniors are planning to attend Eastern Michigan University for girls across, two from Northern and two from Patuxent. Hughes softball led off the Calvert home half of the first with a double to left and second on a sacrifice fly to the right by Sadie Willis. But Chaptacon drew even in the top with the third of the unearned run against Emma Dubuer. Carly Wolfie signaled, took second on a pass ball, reached third on an error, then scored when Haley Bailey worked DeBoer for the bases loaded walk. Calvert reclaimed the lead on Hughes Grand Slam in the home half of the fourth, and the Calvaryers padded their advantage with four more runs in the home half of the fifth. Lexi Dreyer signaled and later scored an RBI, ground out by DuBoyer, and both Kaylee Willis and Clara Wood would score a consecutive wild pitches. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. St. Mary's County Public Schools will be on spring break next week, so we are taking a week off. SOMD Wire will return on Friday, April 22nd. I'm Nolan. And I'm Jada. Signing off.